Great to have you back in our Samsung Kitchen MDP. So you've got mouth-watering tacos with minimal mess for us. I love the sound of that. Right? That's fun to say. And, and yeah, sheet pan tacos. Sheet pan tacos. Sheet pan tacos. You can do this on Monday. Yes. You can do it on Tuesday. You can do it any single day of the week. So minimal mess. That's exactly it. We want to wash less, di less dishes. We I do. think that's an important thing. And I think there's something very fun about making tacos, period. But when you can do it on one sheet pan, that's fantastic. That's it. That's Said. So let's talk about, first I want to show you all the ingredients uh, that go along with this. Tacos are a big deal at our house. When I picture the sheet pan tacos, I yes. did not picture them like that. Okay. So this is very cool. Why, how do we start? So I changed your expectation. This was yes. not what you were thinking. Okay. No, I Love thought it was going to be more like nachos. Yes. You know, but yeah. this is no. This no, is this a little is bit this, Well, that's why I'm here to aim to please, Trace. So Chicken thighs. Yes. We want chicken thighs. Why do we use chicken thighs in the kitchen here? Well, first of all, if you get a club pack of chicken thighs, yes. very reasonably priced. Absolutely. You know, food is going up. Yep. Uh, the other thing is it's like it's tastier than chicken breast because you've is. got the bone in, you've got the skin on. A thigh is just, it's it tastes better. It is taste better. Mm -hmm. That is exactly it. Those are one, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. Tell her what she's won. You get a big <laughs> thing of sheet pan tacos. Yay! And you know what, too? It's fun to make. You said you can make this, you know, either with a family, with friends. You can do this if this is one person. Do it as a meal kit. Yeah. And just prep ahead, right? So Sunday totally. night, Monday night, and you can freeze, put them in. We've got our beautiful garnishes, a little bit of cheese, sour cream, a little bit of fresh lime. Pico de gallo. That's yeah. fun to say. Do you know what pico de gallo actually means in Spanish? Are you, do, can no. you speak Spanish? No. Okay, either I can I. But I, you Do know, you know what it means? I know how to ask for a beer, <laughs> and I know pico de gallo. Okay. So the rooster's beak. Oh, see, yeah. I would have never gotten that. The roost, no, way off. I would have been way off, too, originally. Rooster's Beak. Rooster, rooster's Beak, and because I guess originally they would eat, uh, you eat it in Mexico with your fingers, oh. and it looks like a rooster's beak. Okay. So serrano Got peppers, it. you could replace the pepper of serrano with jalapeno, tomato, yeah. onion, and ready to go. Cool. So let's make a quick marinade, Trace. Yes. Can I get you to help me with this? Absolutely. So, so is olive, this oil? olive oil? Yeah, olive oil in here. Thank I'll you. I'll give you the old. A little bit of garlic. Uh, start with a little uh, garlic powder. Do you want the whole thing go in? All in. Yeah, okay. so I've measured, right. measured that. That's a, a tablespoon. Okay. You're doing a little oregano. That's almost two. Yeah. Classic in a Mexican uh, cuisine. Salt, pepper. Yep. And then I like mine a little bit spicy. Chipotle's not the most, exp mm. you know, spicy, mm -mm, spicy. Mm -mm, mm -mm, Chipotle mm -mm. seasoning. You got about two tablespoons in here. Oh, I love it. Just give that a quick little, a little mix for me. Yeah. Thank you. Beautiful. So this this marinade, uh, you're gonna put this over top. We're, we're the literally gonna thighs. dress. We're gonna dress our bird here. We're gonna get everything all set. We're would getting... you usually do this? I know we're doing this for TV, yeah. but if you were doing it at home, would you do it like the Thank the you. day before, or night before? Would you ever do that, you or do you do it right no, before you put it in the you oven? You certainly can. But again, this dish is all about ease. It yeah. is about simplicity. Yeah. So I want, and don't worry about actually maybe putting it onto the rest of your veg. Okay. The good thing is this fat is gonna render off. And you're going to just get that all throughout. So we're rocking. We're laughing. Yeah. This is extremely, extremely beautiful. So we're going to pop this into the oven. As we were doing this a little ahead of time, I had some magic. I set the oven beautifully for 425. Nice. And 35 to 40 minutes, I want to have that cooking off. And essentially, all that fat's going to render down. Yes. You're going to have that beautiful, crispy skin that you're looking for. Mm -hmm. The kitchen's going to smell like an amazing, you know, you beautiful place. You want to put it place. in and take am, the other one thank out? You. So this is going to come down. That goes in. This is the most work I've ever done in the kitchen. You Ooh. have, well, don't be so hard on yourself. Hot. Come on now. <laughs> City Line <laughs> fan knows what's up. You are working hard always. So let's take a little look here. So okay, it looks you, beautiful. It really does. So you've got, look at the look at that beautiful sear on there. It looks really so good. You're locking it all up flavor. It's going to be super juicy. You have caramelized all those onions. They just yep. roasted right down. You've got our medley going on here. If you have a plate, I'm going to get you to help me Sort of do a little pick, pick, I will pick. do some of the pulling for you. we got a couple of minutes left, yes, but do. I know that we can put together our tacos uh, in due this. time. So, and I put, good point that you bring that up. This is where a great tag team in the kitchen. We actually put the taco shells at the last minute. So this was 35 to 40 minutes. Yeah. So keep those hot. I put them in an oven-safe dish, right? We're yeah. good to go. We but want it even, to be nice and warm. But we want them to be nice and warm. I'm going to get you to pick. So, again, just like you're making pulled pork, Pull that apart. Well, this guy thinks I've made pulled pork. Well, I don't... come on. Okay, all right. I so just some... pull it apart. I see on Instagram what's going on. The oh, fam eats well. Oh, this is looking good. good. So... You know why the fam eats well, right? I do. I do. I know Leo makes the uh, best. Really, oh, you're going really hungry. I'm sorry. No, but you do. But okay. Leo is the chef in the family, no? He's very good at yes. it. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're pulling this apart, and I've got it. Let's have some fun. I want you to start putting that tortilla shell on your plate. 
No problem. And so this is it. the best part of the taco. It becomes the build. It is the build. It's all about the build. I'll do this. Grab, then I can put whatever I yeah, want. Yeah, grab right? your, well, no, first tip, you got to put your, get your plate, Trace. This is going to get everywhere. We, we look got good it. here, right? Now can I put some You stuff certainly can. There? Thank okay. you. So. I'm an animal. Yeah, well, I wanted you to say that. I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> no, we're having fun in the kitchen. I love that you're going right for the cheese, well, sour yeah, cream, I'm pico. I'm going to put my meat on last because yes. that's just the way Can I, I help things. you with a little bit before you go? I've got oh, some yeah, bell yeah, yeah. pepper. Thank you. Do you want a little bit of roasted I onion? I absolutely But do you see do. the fun part of this? You get the family. Yeah, Everyone's in there. We're cooking. We're laughing. This is what food is about. Especially tacos. This is how I picture it in my mind. Are, are right? we really going to be laughing together with the kids? And I'm like, wash your hands. Not just joking. <laughs> yeah, you're like, oh, it seems so more fun and glamorous with MVP. <laughs> are you kidding me? No. This but is a what great a, meal. What a great meal that you can put together uh, on any night of the week. And I, I think what's lovely about it is this is... This might be cleaner than a lot of the tacos out there that uh, that you might see because everything is so fresh. The ingredients yes. are fresh, but and you it was can simple put it together cooking. very quickly. Pick your garnish tree. It's yeah. all, you know, it's not a taco party if you don't have a garnish tree. That's right. And look, so it's beautiful. a gorgeous thing. Easy, ready to go. Now, do you have a special uh, like a special tip for how to eat it without getting it all over your body? Always. Am I to do this on live and what we're doing here now? No, you could just tell me. What okay, should we fair, do? Well, just try I and eat always, it neatly. No, when you're eating food like this, yeah. it's always the step back. Okay. So side version here, <laughs> if you want to maybe do this the profile. Yeah. It's it's like if you're having a hoagie, a sandwich, yeah. something, but a taco. So Are it's we doing a little this? bit like that. Yeah. And I'm. Uh, that's uh, it. We're doing it. Mm-hmm. Oh, it works. It works. Mm -hmm. Look at how clean that was. That was amazing. Oh, my gosh. See? Thank you, Matt. That recipe is, as always, up on our website, CityLine.